morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our first bi-weekly Q&A session here for the City of Lake City. Joining us today, we have, on the left, Interim City Administrator William A. Hall, and on the right, Police Chief Joseph Cooper. They will be talking about the police recruitment incentive the City has begun to offer. Gentlemen, begin. Chief, I'm going to let you start. Thank you. Um, again, my name is Joseph Cooper. I'm the Chief of Police for Lake City Police Department. Um, the incentive program, uh, the focus of the, our incentive program is to try to market to where our police officers are in our communities. Now, we have several, uh, I guess, communities and neighborhoods that require or at least would love to have the presence of a police officer. Now, we know uh, collectively across the board in the city, this we can't do this for every community, and we can't do it citywide. However, when we do have... Uh, police officers that come into the city or at least employed by the city of Lake City, uh, they often inquire about places to live. Um, we want them to stay and be inviting. And also, at the same time, we want to make sure that they become a part of the community and, and, and I guess just anchor themselves in and be, be as one. Um, I think it's more inviting and more uh, of a homely feel of them being a part of the family. Now, with the incentive program, it would actually assist those uh, officers that are employed with the city of Lake City to be a part of the community by actually uh, allowing them to work with uh, realtors and brokers to uh, get them to the point to where they actually buy a home or purchase property within the community. And with that being said, Chief Cooper, we also want to let everyone know that there's a lot of competition out there to bring in good prospects uh, to, to work in their organizations. And, and we're trying to do something extra special. Uh, we can hear people saying they have sign-on bonuses for $5,000, uh, $7,500 in some cases. But those sign-on bonuses are here today and spent tomorrow. Uh, what we're offering here uh, at the City of Lake City is something a little bit more tangible uh, to, to recruit first responders have them to live in the communities of which they serve, mm -hmm. and we're going to be willing to contribute $5,000 toward the purchase of a home. And in reality, when we invest in that home, that home will appreciate in value, and that $5,000 now turns into 10. Mm -hmm. And then after they're here for a while, and they've served 10 years, and they're through with an obligation to us in regards to that agreement, Anytime they want to buy up or, or sell their house and buy a different house, that $5,000 is escrow in their home, which is now increased in value, and it's there 10 years after the fact. Whereas you get the cash in hand, I don't think too many people are going to be holding on to an incentive package 10 years from now. So when it's an investment in our communities as well as we're investing into those potential uh, staff members that we want to bring into our family environment here at the City of Lake City. Uh, and, and hopefully people will see what we're offering and find some interest in it. Yeah, and I'd like to piggyback off that. On the backstory of that too, um, we often get questions about police officers in the community. Are they from Lake City? Do they know about the makeup of Lake City? Have they gone to school in Lake City or just have family here? I think with that, that program, at least that incentive program, it has... It allows them to be a part of the community. Correct. It gives uh, some some ease of mind to those that are at, that are actually in Lake City, the uh, the citizens. Um, they get to understand the dynamics of, of what we do here in, in um, this municipality. Every town and every city and jurisdiction is different, and I think once you bring in an officer and, and they actually live in the town that they actually patrol, I think they will have a little bit more, little bit more interest and a little bit more focus on how to deal with individuals within the community. Um, I think it, it gives them a one-on-one. -on -one. It's more, um, I guess, you build a better rapport because you actually live there. And I think you will patrol better and you will take care of your community a little bit better. And also, at the end of the day, to be honest with you, I think it gives the community a peace of mind that, that you do have a police officer that actually lives in your community. Now, granted, we are on, on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, but we must allow them to actually take a nap sometimes. So <laughs> they're going to be a little bit busy. But I think it gives it a better um, feel for the community to have someone there. And like I said, we, we've had individuals apply for the police department on several occasions, and the biggest thing that came up was, you know, do you have uh, housing here? Do you have any type of apartment complexes here, something that I can actually build on because I'd love to stay? 
because we want to actually give them opportunity to actually build a career. We're not offering them a job. We actually we, are, we actually offer them a career in this profession. So we want them to stay a little longer and, and you know and actually invest in what we have. Yeah. And, and and some people may ask, well, or think buying a house is is a a major decision yeah. to make and. And, and I didn't live my life right in the past, and my credit's not the best in the world. Right. Well, we've got a dedicated uh, realtor mm -hmm. that's willing to work with us, and we have a dedicated mortgage broker. And in the conversations with our mortgage broker, our normal mortgage company is looking for a 620 on your credit score. Right. Now, the good thing about this program is we've got a mortgage broker that's agreed to work with people with a 580 credit score. Right. Now, that's a major ask and that's a major offering to people and those that aren't at 580 he's willing to put them on a path to get them to 580 so they can become homeowners in the city of Lake City and they can be part of this community as well as part of this family here working for the city of Lake City we have about 87 full-time staff members here and I'm going to say those that live in the city and those that don't live in the city, but I will say if you go downtown and walk Dane Street, they're going to know who you are yeah. because there's only 87 of us. And believe me, they know us by name. Yeah. And they'll blow the horn. Hey, how you doing? So it's a wonderful place to be. It's a wonderful feeling to know that you're recognized and they know that you serve at their pleasure because we serve the community. Right. So we put the program, program together, we gave it some thought, mm -hmm. and now we're hoping that someone will see, get some interest in it and follow up on it. Right, and before you go out, anyone that's um, interested, in, interested in being a police officer in the city of Lake City, um, before you go out and start making any type of changes to your credit and big plans, I would ask, I would beg that once you're here, that you sit down with the broker, with the realtor, and see what you have. Veterans, oh my God, we, we, we love the fact that veterans are applying um, because that transition into a home with a um, VA certificate sometimes is seamless. It's seamless because you just roll right into it and you can transfer it. So if you're leaving another agency as far as a lateral transfer from another state and you come into Lake City and you want to transfer your, your VA certificate, they can tell you how to do that. I don't want you to go out and say, well, you know what, my credit is not yeah. up the way it needs to be and I'm going to go ahead and pay off everything. Don't do that. Nope. That's the wrong thing to do. I want you to come in and once you're employed here, I want you to sit down with the uh, the advocates of the uh, real estate and the brokerage firm, and, and they'll tell you what you know what you need to do and talk you through it. But uh, we do have a lot of programs uh, that we're working on um, that we're going to actually offer to the police department, such as well, not so much programs because they're incentives like free medical, yeah, yeah. free medical, free yeah. dental, free, free dental. vision, exactly, free yeah. life insurance, free, free short-term disability, yes, and state retirement, yes. So we do have a lot to offer, and we're a small department, in which we, we, we thrive on that, and we love it because we have a very diverse group, um, male, female, Hispanics, African-American, Caucasian. We have a very diverse group because we police in a society that's diverse. Um, so if you're thinking about being a police officer in the city of Lake City, I would ask that you actually take an honest, uh, hard look at what we have to offer. Uh, and that's someone calling now for a job, I, I guarantee you. <laughs> um, but you take a hard, hard look at us and, and come and fill out the application. Let's sit down and talk. Mm -hmm. uh, the salary base starting uh, around 32000 now. Patrol. Patrol. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, that's all inclusive and just a solid number. We need to see what you have in your application, what your resume, what you bring to the table, what you can offer. If that's the case, then we'll sit down and we'll talk numbers. But first, you have to take the, uh, you have to make the first step and you know, go ahead and complete that application they submitted to our human resources. And always remember, your career starts here, and it starts now. 843-374-5421 is the switchboard operator, and Rhonda Housen is our human resource manager. Uh, she'll be willing to, to give you answers, send you applications, yes. or put you in who you need to talk with to hopefully start building a future, a career, a home yeah. here at the City of Lake City. I agree. Very good, and we actually have a comment from Yumiko Robinson, and she loves this real this idea from you, Chief, and she says some citizens have the concern that they don't see the police patrol in their neighborhood enough, so having a police officer in the neighborhood would help this concern. Can you go a little more into that, please? Well, I, and I agree with um, Ms. Robinson. Um, right now, there is a shortage among police officers uh, in every municipality 
in every city. Across the nation. Across the nation, yeah. Um, so, and I agree with that because I think years ago, um, we used to we used to have a lot more of a police presence, and there were more into the community. And now we're dealing with a lot of things with police. Now we may, you know, we could probably have, let's say hypothetically, five to six officers on a shift, and you would love to see them in the community. However, because of the dynamics of where the community is changing now, with dealing with individuals with crisis, uh, we're talking about juveniles. Then we have COVID. Then we have individuals that we thought, or at least we're thinking along the lines of being detained or incarcerated, they're back out just as fast as they, we, you know, we're putting them in there for violating the law. Um, so our presence is really requested more. So it's kind of hard for us to kind of navigate from one area to the other. But I think we're on the right track because we're actually putting people in the community, and I think that's going to deter a lot of what's going on. Um, and I do share those same feelings about we need to see them more. And I do understand that, and, and that's what this is all about. That's what this program is all about, trying to get some faces in, get some people in here to work, and actually be in the community. Yeah, because at the end of the day, we have people that's been with the city of Lake City and other departments 40 years, right. plus years, 30 years, 25 years. You know, and, and, and we have longevity here, and, and that's what we want to continue being. Uh, we feel that, and, and I think the philosophy that we have is we bring you in on the bottom and get you developed trained, put you in a mandatory uh, uh, role eventually right. to where you can build a career, have a future, and live your, your life here in Lake City, and, and everybody can be happy. Yes, yes, and just to piggyback on that, the career path is what the police department offer. Uh, coming in uh, as a patrolman, that does not mean you'll stay at a patrolman level because we're going to make sure you get trained. We're going to be your career path. If you want a job, I get it. You can be here as long as you would like. Uh, for that purpose of having a job. But if you want a career, this is a place you want to start because we will actually get you to the point where you are marketable if you want to leave. So we want to help you with that. And we know that coming here and, and, and working here is not the be all and end all for everything. We know sometimes things happen in life. Life happens and you have to move on. But I would love to have you come in, sit down, uh, put that application together, help me build your career path and get you where you need to be because we need good officers. We need good people to come in. And this job is not easy. You know, but we want to give you a career path and give you a profession. Okay. That's, 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 a, that's a true statement. Mm -hmm. Again, if you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comment section. Uh, we've gotten a lot of great feedback so far. And gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. If you have any other questions here after the session ends, leave them in the comment section below and we will get them answered for you. Thank you for joining us for our first bi-weekly session. We'll be back again in a couple of weeks with another Q&A session. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, isn't that wonderful?